A substitute teacher in the Bastrop Independent School District has been removed after bringing a stun gun on school grounds this week. The student claims the sub shocked him, but the district says his story doesn't match up with the evidence. KXAN's Alex Capriello went to Bastrop High School and met with the student to find out what he says led up to this moment. I felt a, just a zap on my shoulder and I just jumped up and sprung up. 15-year-old Alejandro Olmos has two distinct marks on his shoulder. To have uh, a teacher come up to you and do that to you, doesn't, it's not right. He said he got them when a substitute teacher came up and without warning shocked him with the stun gun he carries with him all the time. If it was a student that was in a school shooting somewhere, they arrested him. That's assault on a minor. Yeah, it shocked my life. The school has denied the allegation. It admits the sub did own a stun gun, but maintains the teacher was not the one responsible for the jolt. The Bastrop High School employee handbook is pretty clear. No weapons are allowed on campus by anyone. Which begs the question, why did this substitute teacher have a stun gun in the first place, and who else knew about it? You used a weapon on a child at school, and that's supposed to be the safe place away from their homes. Despite the school district removing the teacher, the family says that's not enough. We're not going to stop until we get to the bottom of it. That's a fact. For now, they'll just try to move on. It's a life-changing moment, really. Absolutely. Life-changing moment, indeed. In Bastrop, Alex Capriello, KXAN News. Officials with the Bastrop ISD say they have concluded an extensive investigation. They say the physical evidence does not match up with the student's story and that people who were present when the alleged incident happened did not back up the student's report. Even so, the district is working with the family to make sure they collect all the evidence needed. Bastrop ISD has its own police force for more than two years now. The chief told us in 2016 the move was critical because of all the growth the district was seeing. Today, a representative told us the police department has five officers, a canine, four campus justice. monitors, and other okay, security personnel. Justice. They're working to protect over 10,000 students in a region spanning 450 square miles.